Hi everyone, it's Joe Chaffee, meteorologist joechaffee.com, ssstormchasing.com, weatherlongisland.com, and who knows what else down the road, maybe nycweathernow.com, but we'll have more about that in the coming weeks. Just want to show you that temperatures this afternoon have really moved up quite a bit, especially across New Jersey where it's just about everybody uh, in the 90s except for 85 up in Sussex County. And we've got a lone 89 sitting uh, in uh, Monmouth County away from the ocean, but it's for every, <clears throat> for all intents and purposes, it's, uh, it's near 90, upper 80s in South Jersey, low 90s in southeastern Pennsylvania. Long Island, a little bit of a different story uh, as of uh, mid-afternoon because of the wind coming in from off the ocean. So that really has not only held temperatures down, but it's made things much more humid across coastal areas than it is in inland spots. So it's very uncomfortable across Long Island, even though the temperatures are in the upper 70s and low 80s. And also, we have temperatures across Connecticut uh, in the low 90s, uh, especially as you head uh, northward in and around and north of Hartford. Uh, we're seeing some temperatures in the low 90s. Otherwise, it's middle 80s and a little bit of a 75 sitting uh, right along the coast near New London. And in eastern Pennsylvania, we're seeing temperatures in the low to mid 80s. And here's uh, some shower and thunderstorm activity that's popped up. Uh, hopefully something holds together for somebody. I'm not holding my breath on this. And uh, we're going to see whatever front that comes through, for the most part, come through relatively uneventful. Just going to show you a couple of things going on here with respect to Tropical Storm Julia. And I'm going to freshen up the loop a little bit here uh, so we can uh, see the latest. And you can pick out that circulation center is now, at least for the moment, completely over the water. Uh, as it uh, sits there right off the, south, the uh, corner of, of uh, South, uh, south Carolina and the southwestern corner. So it, it's still maintaining minimal tropical storm strength. Most of the rain with this is to the uh, north and east of the circulation center. Uh, so it's mainly confined to some coastal areas going into uh, northeastern North South Carolina and into southwestern North Carolina. Uh, all those northeast, south, and west can get a little bit confusing. But eventually, this is just probably going to be under around, move inland, just go back and forth. So it might take a few days for this rain from all this to play out. So some areas are going to get a considerable amount of rain out of this. Here's the wider view. Here's our cold front. And I'll just uh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, draw in the front for you and show you uh, where it is. It's just now moving up. up uh, into, let me just get that a little better there, there. So it's just basically moving into uh, western New York, and eventually this is all going to head offshore with not much fanfare. There's a lot of dry air behind it uh, in through the Great Lakes. It's a nice big high, comes down, and that's going to uh, head in here for the next several days. Uh, here's Julia, and we'll uh, mark that off for you. Here's Tropical Storm Julia. Out in the Atlantic, we have Tropical Storm Ian. Uh, that's moving on schedule to go north and then eventually northeast. And then Julia's just going to kind of meander around in here over the next couple of days. But notice all this dry air that's in between, uh, all this uh, uh, action going on with this cold front. And you've got this tropical storm to the south. And we just keep sitting here getting absolutely nothing in terms of rainfall. So this really serious drought situation continues uh, with no end in sight to this a very dry pattern. Here's a wider view on the satellite, and you can't really see it. I'm just going to shift this over a little bit. There, we have a new tropical depression that's moved off the African coast, and you can just begin to see the edge of the clouds here. Uh, conditions are a little favorable for development uh, for the next 24 hours or so, but if it doesn't do it uh, at that during that point, it, it may run into a period where it, it, it just probably will hold its own because conditions uh, just to the west of this are not really all that favorable. So let's show you what weather models are doing over the next few days and in the coming week or so with respect to uh, our weather and the uh, longer term uh, look at the tropics. So first of all, let's look at the let's look at the short term uh, with respect to our own weather. So let me just get these uh, nice little regions up here. We'll pull up uh, the eastern U.S. And everything seems to be on schedule with the way these models have been playing out lately. There hasn't been too much variation from run to run. Uh, so we've got our cold front. Let me just back this up. Sorry. This thing sometimes likes to get stuck as it continues to load. Okay, so 
Here we have our cold front for today, and it moves on through. And there's the next high that builds into New England. So we're fine uh, weather-wise through Saturday. Sunday, here's that next cold front. Now, there's a little bit more moisture to play with uh, with this one. So I think there might be a better chance that we could see uh, some showers and thunderstorms with this um, when, when this front tries to move through. One of the things that's happening with this one is that it is slowing down a little bit. The push behind it is not all that strong. So we're not uh, going to see this front just kind of run away. And, you know, we have all this tropical moisture uh, that's along the eastern seaboard that's probably going to be sitting in the southeast for a little while. So some of that may try and get involved with this front as it moves on through here uh, for Sunday. And then after that, we pretty much go with the flow. Uh, it's the same old story. High pressure moves in, builds out. Next cold front, high pressure builds in, builds out. You get the idea. So uh, we're pretty much in a wash, rinse, repeat pattern. And I want to look at the tropics because we real quick because we did touch upon this yesterday. Um, I want to focus in on the upper air pattern. And we're going to look at the European model and widen out to show you the North Atlantic. Because one of the things that <clears throat> we've been going to be we we're going to be looking for is whether the ridge that's off the east coast and also well out into the atlantic south of the azores if if that is going to rebuild and strengthen and close this hole that exists along and east of 60. this uh, hole in the upper atmosphere has already caught gaston and now has caught uh, ian and the question is if any further tropical systems move out will they get caught as well now, the European wants to build this ridge back to some degree, but it still maintains just enough of a hole in here in the upper ridge that it winds up pulling any developing tropical system to the north and east, uh, east of 60 west. So unless that hole does close, I would think that any tropical systems that develop in the Atlantic over the next couple of weeks will wind up not being a factor here. But we're going to just have to keep our eyes on things in case um, this band of westerlies is perhaps maybe it's not as far south as being forecast down maybe this ridge off the east coast is a little stronger maybe this ridge is a little stronger you know that could change the profile down the road but for the time being i'm not really too concerned uh with uh, what uh, to expect um with regards to the tropics over the next week to 10 days so that pretty much covers it <clears throat> we'll have uh, the latest posts on the on tropical storm julia the new tropical depression in the atlantic and uh, We'll also cover whatever changes with the local weather occurs over the next couple of days. It really isn't going to be much. It's beautiful blue skies and sunshine and temperatures in the 70s, nighttime lows in the 50s. SS Storm Chasing, for all your storm chasing wants, needs, and desires, meteorologist JoeChoppy.com and WeatherLongIsland.com for all your weather forecasting needs. Short range, long range, and even some winter outlooks that are up. So check out the websites.